Plus 2.6 is transaction that related to AP invoice. So to do this transaction, we need to go to the AP invoice. So here we can just click on the left click to create a new AP invoice. So the first AP invoice customer is supplier A. The journal type is purchase. And the supplier invoice number you make it in here, which is 445566. And the invoice number will be auto generated, which is PI0001. And the date we change to 11 of January. To insert the column, we click plus sign here. And we choose the account, which is 610 purchases. The description will be the item 1, 2, 1, 2, 2. The amount is 1,500. And the description is purchases. Before we proceed to the next invoice, we need to tick proceed new AP invoice. And after that, we can just click on save button to save the first invoice. Now, we key in the second invoice which is supplier A as well. The date we change to the 13th January. And don't forget to key in the supplier invoice number which is 445577. And then, we click plus sign to insert the column. And we choose the account purchases. The description will be item 1255 and the amount is 2500. The next will be click on save, and the third one, the last invoice, will be supplier C. The supply invoice number is 7788899 and then the date will be 14 of January purchases click plus sign to insert the column and purchases is 610 description is item 1244 and the amount will be 900 and we untick proceed new AP invoice and we save that is for the AP invoice now we proceed to the task 2.7 which is transaction that related to AP credit note so to create a new AP credit note we just left click and we key in as usual. So the creditor which is supplier A, channel type purchase C and type return. And the description is incorrect item. And the reason is incorrect item as well. The date will be for the date will be 12 January. So the supplier CN number okay, is CN 445566. Sorry, 4456. And then the supplier invoice number. Okay, there's no supplier invoice number. So to insert the column, we just plus sign. The credit account is 612. So you choose 612. And the description purchase is written. The amount of this AP credit note is 150. Okay, so you need to choose that which uh, invoice that we need to know of. So we need to know of the invoice for 445566 which is the first one and you may tick at the last box there original amount 1500 outstanding will become 1350 after we done we can just click 
save as usual. Now we proceed to the last one which is last transaction that related to AP, task 2.8, AP payment. So we right click at the AP payment. To create a new one, we choose the creditor which is still supplier A. Okay, so we choose supplier A here. The description is payment on account. Okay, sorry. The description is payment on account. Okay, so I key in here. And the date will be 27 January. Twenty-seven January and then the payment method is by CMPKL and the check number is two two zero zero one three okay, is ready there and then the amount is five hundred. Okay, and after that, you choose the invoice that we need to know of, which is invoice 4455666. Okay, so after we tick this one, we can just click on the save button to save your AP payment. So right click here and you can see, okay, all the transaction that you have key in just now and the AP payment is here. The same goes to the AP invoice just now. For example, this one. All the AP invoice that you key in will appear here. Okay, so that's all the transaction that related to AP.